You're right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome to episode number 9 of Building Bayern. So here we go, it's time to unfortunately have to rest the team again. As you can see, we've got absolutely no fitness on any of these players. In fact, we're going to have to play two games to get these guys back to match fitness, which is just a pain in the arse, really. But if we do win our two games in the offline seasons, uh, we are actually going to take down a title. So that's not too bad. We'll get ourselves some extra coins and stuff on the board. Now, if you want another episode of Building Bayern tomorrow, where I'll be making another signing, yes, another signing, because I'm going to be making one today as well, then smash the like button now. Get this video to 4,000 likes, and that video will be all yours. So here we go. You can see that we are going into the offline divisions. Oh, all the excitement. Not really. It's so boring playing offline. I just cannot stand it. I mean, I am playing on a very, very easy difficulty. Um, that's because that's what the division set to. But um, at the same time, even if it was harder, I'd still be bored out of my mind because I hate playing the computer. I don't know about you guys, but playing the computer is just so mechanical to me. It just doesn't interest me in the slightest. That's why I don't really play career mode or anything like that sort of stuff um, that maybe other channels do because I just can't handle it. It just bores the hell out of me, really. But anyway, you can see that we are in uh, our second game already. We won the first one like 8-0. This one was slightly tougher. We only won 3-1. Uh, the computer actually managed to score a really nice goal there, um, mainly because I wasn't concentrating. But we do take down the win and, of course, take down the all-important title. And we got ourselves an extra 1,000 coins bonus for winning that title as well. So that's good. And uh, now we can go make that signing I was just talking about. And it's going to be Xabi Alonso. He's going to be our most expensive signing of the series so far. I find one the powerhouse chemistry style on him. And he's in a CDM. Oh, well, he's, he defaults as a CDM. But he's got quite a few contracts on him, I believe. Um, you can see there he's got 84 contracts. So I thought it was worth it, considering he was slightly cheaper than the other three that were on the market. And and he had all those contracts to sort of entice me in more. Now, I had to change the formation to actually fit him in, um, just so that everyone was on the most chemistry I could. Uh, Winecroft is actually going to take the plunge and be removed from the squad, unfortunately, for him. Um, he just doesn't fit our plans anymore. And as you can see, uh, we're going to play Thiago at the CAM position. He still gets full chem. Um, and then Lonzo is going to slot in behind him and have the number three jersey, which he does play in for Bayern Munich. So there you go. That's the team at the moment. Looks pretty beastly, won't lie. We still need to improve that left-hand side of the pitch because we are using uh, two non-rare silvers down there. But those sort of positions are quite expensive to fill. I mean, we're talking Ribery and Alaba. So we may be a little bit away. And we do get our first check mark on the right-hand column, which is pretty cool to say. So we are starting to work through those players, although it is still one of the cheaper players. I mean, the two that are on the left side are still uh, pretty expensive. Anyway, here we go. We're doing some trading. You know I love to trade. We're doing the mass bidding technique again today. We're doing it with De Siglio, one of the best right backs in Serie A. As you can see, he's got decent pace and, uh, you know, he's gold and people want him for their team. So people will pay for him. And I'm also bidding on uh, Juan Jesus as well, putting about 550 coin bid on each of them to sell on for 850. I think I was bidding 500 on De Siglio to uh, sort of sell on for about the 750 coin mark, making about 200 to 250 coins per player that we pick up, which is pretty good going considering you know it takes us two minutes and uh, we can go off and play a game while we're waiting anyway you can see the team we're coming up against this is going to be in online season so if we win this game we'll be taking down the title so it's very important that we win this one and uh, he's using an interesting hybrid it's La Liga meets Serie A meets uh, well Shakhtar Donetsk and you can see that uh, unfortunately I give away a penalty I swear that I pulled his shirt just outside the box but he goes down inside the box and the referee decides to give a penalty so I was a little bit peeved about that but um, what can you do? He does convert it. And uh, now we're going to have the uphill struggle of coming back into this game. You can see that we actually manage it quite quickly. Lovely work from Visa here to actually play the ball into Rode. And Rode just slips it into the goalkeeper who actually parries it out. And Pizarro is there to apply the finish to make it one all. Then Shakiri. The skills, the dribbling ability, just too much to handle. And he manages to make it 2-1. Lovely work from him there. And then again, a lovely skill move. It's the new skill move that's been added this year. He actually goes back inside the opponent. He's not expecting it at all and managed to score it. And look at this for Shakiri. Unbelievable stuff. I really wanted him to finish this. I thought it would have been an amazing goal. Fortunately, the goalkeeper, or it gets blocked, I'm not sure. It either gets saved by the goalkeeper and pushed out um, or his player um, blocks it. And, uh, yeah, Pizarro ends up putting it into the back of the net. But Shakiri kept on going and managed to score a lovely, uh, well, skill run there. And we do take down the title, which means 4,000 coins. That is sick. Um, 
I've got to recommend Shakiri. If you if you're using a Bundesliga team, try him out at like right forward or something in a 4-3-2-1. Uh, you will really enjoy him because not only is he really good at skills, he's really fast and he's got great physical stats for a winger. The physical stats are probably the biggest thing for him because you know usually when you have a winger, they're like quite small, speedy, and not all that strong. But his physical stats are great. So he you know as you saw there, he's managed to bump people off, stay on the ball, not get pushed over and stuff like that. So really good stuff there. Anyway. We are now doing the trading. We managed to buy, I think, like five items from our trading session. Um, and uh, I went and checked Juan Jesus' price and actually ended up buying two of them because they were listed up too, tri uh, too cheap. Same thing happened to Siglio. When I was going to check his price, I ended up buying two of him as well. So you can see I bought one for 450 and one for 550 listing both up for 750 to make a bit of coin there. And then we list up the ones that we actually want on bids. So you've got to be mindful when you're trading. Don't just get in the mindset, oh, yeah, I trade this way. If you see a deal... Any time, even if you're just checking a price of a player that you think you're buying, buy it because you can still sell it on for more. You, you just got to take every coin that you can get your hands on in this game and uh, that is a good example of it. Anyway, our next opponent in the brand new division, I think this is Division 7, um, is a 4-1-2-1-2 Bundesliga side and it does look pretty dangerous. And as you can see, the sliding shot from Mkhitaryan actually goes over Pepe Reina's uh, leg and he doesn't manage to save it, unfortunately. Now, this guy was just on absolute fire. I don't know what to say. Um, I didn't think I was playing particularly badly. Um, it was just more a case of everything was going right for him. And as you can see, he ends up going 4-0 up. Uh, Ramos was a pain in the arse just running through my defence over and over again. We did manage to pull a couple of goals back, but it really was too much of a challenge, too much of a mountain to climb to get all of those goals back. So we end up finishing the game 4-2, which I guess is a little bit more respectable than 4-0. We get 400 coins for it. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go back to the arena and give it another go. Although, having played that game, we can obviously do more training. Yes, the trading is coming thick and fast. I hope you guys are managing to uh, keep up with it. I'm struggling to keep up with it, so I'm not sure if you are. But, as you can see, we have managed to sell all of those players that we bought just before that game. Which means, you know, we've got more stuff. Oh, it's just crazy. I, I, I didn't even show the stuff. I didn't even show you uh, me putting more bids down because basically every game that I finish, I go away and put a whole load of bids down on different players. And as you saw there, I picked up more three more Juan Jesus for about the 550 coin mark, listing up for 850 coins. And that's just more profit. And I think I put more bids down again between this game and the last one. So, yeah, loads of trading going on, and I hope you guys are sort of keeping up with it, and I hope you guys are doing well with the trading. I mean, if you are struggling, you can always go back to the My Ultimate uh, Trading Guide and get some tips from there. Now, our opponent's using a 4-1-2-1-2 hybrid, and, uh, yeah, it was it was a nice start for me. Although we got fouled with Shakiri, he stood up well, we got the play on, and he slid in Visor, who actually puts that one into the back of the net. I think it was Visor anyway. Um, so, good start for us. Unfortunately, again, Uche is just a nightmare to defend against any one fast with good dribbling is just a pain in the ass and as you saw there he just ran through my defense just doing it uh, doing me dirty really and uh, scoring goals to equalize we did score with Shakiri again though good work from the team to slip him in into the space and uh, yeah he finishes well but again the guy uses that pace and this time Pepe Reina comes out doesn't even get near it and he just rounds him and uh, ends up scoring but here's Shakiri that strength that speed that finish, unbelievable stuff from the man, and he does win us the game 3-2. So we have a record of 1-0 and 1 in Division, I think it's 7? <laughs> I don't even know. But Division 7, yeah, good start. And uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, episode. As I said, if you get 4,000 likes on this one, I'll upload another episode of uh, Building Bayern tomorrow. Subscribe if you're new to my channel, but I'm going to have to leave it there. And I will see you all next time.